I was in Montana and I was hiking and it was uh, close to sunset and um, I heard a noise. I was just on this little trail by myself and I heard a noise and I looked up and there was a, a moose, a, a male moose. Maybe all moose are male, I'm not sure. But he was up on a little hill and I looked at him and it, he was inviting me to come up. And it was a very short hill, it was like six feet. So I, I kind of climbed up the hill and the moose um, was there and I stood next to the moose and we just um, exuded love towards each other. And it felt like I had known this moose forever. And it felt like we were communicating at a depth. Um, so much communication. We didn't have any words, but it was so much communication. I put my hand on his, um, on his neck, you know, that part. And we just um, stood there and we were just literally in communion with each other. And, um, and then it was really getting dark. And so I kind of just thought, I'm gonna, I thought goodbye. And the moose literally um, looked at me and just went like goodbye in his way. And I, I went down the hill and I waved goodbye and then I ran to where I was going. I was so excited. And I, I ran to this place that I was staying and I said, um, as I walked in, they could tell that something had happened, and they said, well, what, what's going on with you? And I said, oh, I just met this moose, and we had this amazing experience. And immediately the guy said, moose just killed a man the other day. <laughs> and, but I, I realized that that moose that killed that man, I don't know what the man was doing, but probably the moose didn't feel safe. And the moose could tell that I was in a place of appreciation and love and ease. So we had this... Um, this deep connection 